G'day and welcome back for more Survival Impossible. I have been, well I think quite productive overnight. I've managed to get most of the glass in on the Arboretum. I've built another Fort Capac, as you can see the other light in the distance there. And I even went back to the original Fort Capac and actually painted Capac orange since I'd accidentally painted his decoy Energy white low. before I left. So I fixed that too. And not just those things. I have also added more small cargo containers to the base, replacing some cargo junctions. But this is the bit that I am most pleased with. Welcome to the completed production facility. That's right. I've painted. I've welded. I have got this place looking pretty much how I wanted it to be. It's a little bit run down, it's a little bit rough and ready, but it has all its own lighting that's done properly. It is pressurized. I can open my helmet. I am, yeah, I'm quite happy with how the red catwalks work against the orange of the conveyors, especially using the spray paint tool. One of the really cool things about Digi's painting mod, uh, which I've shown off before, is that you can easily paint varied intensity of color. So using the one color, I've managed to make these pipes look aged to varying degrees. And I, I think that adds a nice little bit of detail to these sorts of builds. Similarly on the floor, I've used a mixture of battered and rusty decals on things just to kind of break up the uniformity and not make it quite so consistent. Then, in this stairwell, I've got the battered, going to rusty, a bit more rusty, and then finally down the bottom, mostly rusty. It's not something I've really done before. It's something I used to do when I was building in Minecraft a lot. I'd use the varying colors and I'd kind of imagine looking at things further back. But in Minecraft, you really didn't have as much detail. So I felt it worked well there. But it's something that I think feel is going to grow on me and it's going to be something I use a bit more in Space Engineers now. As, yeah, it can look strange when you're standing right up next to it. It's like, why, why did the rust stop there? The rust should extend a bit. But at a distance, I kind of think it works. I reckon, standing back here, this production facility no longer looks boring, because there's colour in various places. It looks mostly complete. I think what I really... What I might need to do just to make it look even just that little bit nicer would be to put some of those little decorative boxes, crate things around the place. But that's going to have to wait because I saw some sun on the horizon. I should close my helmet. Which means it is time for me to quickly pop a couple of spotlights on the crane and head up to the Panini wreck because I am ready to go. Oh, that's right. I did another thing. I added a fourth container to the crane. And in this container, it's kind of a backup plan. It has the materials for... Well, actually, the materials for one of the things in here is not a backup plan. It has the materials for a turret, but it also has the materials I require for a basic assembler and basic refinery. So if I run out of a particular part that at least a basic assembler could build, I can do it. So I could mine some of the stone that's up there, shove it in the refinery and actually be able to get a few things done rather than having to trek all the way back here just to collect a few little bits of materials. So I did that just as an emergency backup option in case I messed something up. And the reason that came to mind is thinking of these forts Capac, it was hard even with a build of that scale to remember everything before I left. Oh, I also painted these things these conveyors in snowy because I'm Energy using critical. the snowy on the outside is really growing on me probably need to do some snow around the tops of some of these buildings I just wish if you had a different decal but the same color you wouldn't get the edges on the armor blocks but we'll see how that works it might work out anyway oh I am almost out of water here I will need to go grab some from the thingy the thingy being the food truck. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show off something I did in the... Ah. <laughs> something else I did in the production building to make it complete. 
So, for a long, long time, I had these refineries. Well, I only had one of these refineries. I built the second one. But I had them... I had the one running... I had the one that was running using full power. I've now got full power efficiency modules on it, so my power consumption having two refineries is actually less than what it was before. Which is something I'm slightly happy about. It also means with both of them running, I've come fairly close to getting rid of... well, getting through all of the materials that I had collected. It's also very nice. Alright, I think it's time to go. That sun is so ready to peek over that horizon. By the time I'm into the bad hills, I should be... should be okay, shouldn't I? And time for the scary drive up the steep hill with about 14 subgrids. I do love watching the sun slowly fill this valley. Ooh. That's an unfortunate thing. Just realised where the paninis crashed, it's not going to get sun for much of the day because of the mountains, the, the deep, because of the steep valley sides. I'll have to build some decent lighting rigs. That's one of my early things to do. Ooh, what's that? It's part of a drone. Huh. I wonder which drone that was. Oh, it should have ammo. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Is it some gyro on over right? It is. There we go. Oh! <laughs> it almost killed me. That could have easily killed me if I'd been just that little bit closer. Ah. <laughs> uh. Forgot about that. Should have been more careful. So, yeah. Those drones self-destruct when their remote controls get damaged. Ah, Right in my face. You'd think as the person who designed that this, the mod and made that drone, I would remember things like that. But no. No, I don't. I am hopeless. And I forget. Okay, here's the hill. Don't know if this was the correct path, though. I don't think it was. Oh, we're on it now. Come on, trailer. Push me up. Even though that I haven't set up the steering properly on the trailer. Uh, that was enough, thankfully. Oh, no. I might actually have to go back down because I've gone the wrong way. I thought I might have been able to make it up this way anyway. Oh, this could be okay. <gasps> no! Why do you do this to me, game? Oh, that's going to be annoying having to fix. As long as I don't lose another tyre, it should be okay. Be extra, extra careful now. I have no front <laughs> wheel on the left. I'm not sure where to put the crane to make the most use of it. Did bring enough parts to build a bit of a custom large grid crane down here at some point though. Let's just park here and start working this stuff out. I need to get this thing locked down to the ground so that I can actually use the wind turbines on it to get some power to those batteries but I also want to get like I can get rid of pieces like this antenna and I want to kind of cut away as much as possible so I can just get the remaining thrusters stick them into a little bit around a battery and go from there. Start with some steel plate, and let's at least build a bit of a barrier so this can't slide down the hill any further. Then I can start grinding out the bits that aren't needed, and hopefully the bits that have a decent amount of materials in them won't slide too far down the hill. Can't see much useful up that way, it seems like it's just a bed and toilet and things. Is the command seat intact? Yep, flight seat's intact. Okay, so most of this part is actually all fine and good to go. Maybe what I could do is try and keep the flight seat and these three pieces of armor. So we've got flight seat and battery and then attach the thrusters to this cockpit module. Uh, try and cut out as much of the excess weight as possible. So get rid of things like the desk and whatnot. But I could probably make use of this part of it. And that will save some resources. Uh, 
I'm going to need, in that, if that's what I'm going to do, maybe I should, should start there. And what I'll do is start carving out a bit of the stuff around here. Start taking over things like this flight seat. Below that hack line. And grab the parts for it and build it up. Do the same to the battery. And then I'll add a cargo container on here. So I've got somewhere to dump all of this scrap metal and stuff. There you go. Flight seat's mine. Flight seat has some storage. So let's dump a few things in there. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I can just go around clearing out all these bits and pieces. Oh, that's the other thing. I thought I saw an oxygen tank. That was another thing I had to do quickly here. I needed to get the oxygen tank. If it still has one. It still has two. Which are intact. I need to get them accessible as well. So what I need to do is I need to establish a power supply on this. Then establish my oxygen supply. And then once I've done that, I can start rearranging things. Build a bit of cargo onto it. And then I should be able to, yeah, make some real progress. So power. How am I most easily going to be able to lock this to the ground so that I can just stick a wind turbine on it somewhere? Because that's really what I need. Um, ideally, I'd like to merge block it to the ground just straight up. I may be able to use merge blocks in this instance because this isn't going to be attached to anything when I place the merge blocks down. So if I say... Let's lock down the bit that's I'm planning on taking with me. Uh, if you need to rotate things by 90 degree increments like I just did then, you can press control and then the home, end, insert, delete, page up, page down keys. How well is that lined up? That looks pretty spot on. If I weld these up, these merge blocks may well lock. I'm expecting some damage to be done to the ship, probably to things like these interior turrets. But that's just a price I'm going to have to pay. Please work. Yes! Okay. It's a static grid now. Awesome. That was uh, incredibly easy. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult. So now I just need a way to get up onto the roof. So I can stick a turbine up there. I am so crooked. <laughs> this is going to be seriously awkward. <laughs> uh, I go sideways then downhill should be easier to place things down uh oh I can't see a way to get over this okay wind turbine time let's make sure all the turrets are destroyed those two are damaged. Don't want to get shot by anything. Yeah, those look like the only turrets here. I do wonder how this turbine, how well this turbine might work. And how weird it might look being on such an awkward angle. 108 kilowatts. Uh, that's actually pretty much maximum fire Macron. I'm happy with that. These batteries will start getting some charge now. My cert's going to continue to hate me as I slowly grind stuff down. Energy low. Okay, oxygen supply. We've got power, now we need oxygen. Grind down the tank, get when I need to repair it. I hope it still has its oxygen, but I don't think they keep their oxygen when they uh, get ground down. Yeah, it's empty. Although, hold up. Stockpile. Yes, I can steal from the other tank. Haha, <laughs> no vent required. That is awesome. Thought that might work. I thought you, yeah. So that was actually quite handy because the other tank because both tanks survived I was able to steal the oxygen from the other tank that I hadn't yet hacked and I didn't want to hack while it was still full of oxygen so that that worked out very nicely cool got power supply got oxygen supply now I just need to start with now I need some cargo then I can start figuring out how I'm going to move the thrusters to where I need them to be on this thing sweet now I got plenty of cargo space for all the various Bits of scrap I'm gonna accumulate. So grind stuff down. Cool. So I think step one of rearranging this thing is get rid of as much of the random bits and pieces that are mostly useless first. And that's gonna include this turret. Hopefully grab its ammo. Oh, there's even more there. It's gonna roll down the hill before I get and get it, isn't it? Dang it. Come on, ammo still be down there. 
24 cases of ammo. Nice. These two thrusters are intact. And the crane seems to be sliding down the hill because it was not right on the edge of that before. Um, they're intact. I might be best off trying to get the crane locked down and in position and locked to them. Then picking them off. Oh, how am I going to do this? So I've got these two. These four, I think. Yep. So those four could be like the lifting module. They've already got the gyroscope on. Am I going to be better building a custom crane up here? Let's try and get a decent angle on this. So I need to be able to move something from behind that cargo container to behind where the turbine attaches. I can just move it across. In theory, I should be able to do that with a single piston. And then if that same piston could grab those two thrusters and rotate them and then reattach them, that should work. I think I've brought enough stuff for that. So I think I had some of that in mind as what I was going to do. 20 large steel tubes. That's all I've got. And how many do I need for a large piston? Four each. Plus four for the hinge. Well, given that's all not working out quite right, I'm going to build that assembler and refinery that I thought of doing. Because I've got all this scrap, I can just refine down the scrap and get enough metal to be able to do hopefully build any more tubes or motors and other things that I need. These aren't going to be able to run for long because Energy. the single yeah. turbine is not going to produce enough power for them, but at least I'll be able to make parts as I go. So I just... I worry building something as big as a large good crane that I'm not going to have enough bits and pieces. <laughs> oh, jeez. Once the batteries run dry, I'm going to get that noise again. The refinery running. That's going to be so annoying. In an ideal world, I would have connected that cargo underneath with this, but I just couldn't see an easy way to make that work. There we go. Already got a thousand iron. I had hoped to use the actual crane apparatus on this truck for the work here, but one of the problems with that is how do I get it into position so it can actually move the bits where I need to move them? It's going to be really difficult. I reckon I might use it for this one just to grab this piece while I grind out the rest of the stuff around here. Yeah, it's, it's just really hard. <laughs> I'm just going to build a piston jack for this. I really want that wheel back. Alright, locked. Locked to the ground, locked to that thruster. I can now release that thruster and start grinding away the oxygen tank next to it. And then I can hopefully move it into a position of being useful. I'll try and do as much... I'm actually changing my mind. I'm going to try and do a few, bit, few more bits with this crane. See how much I can do. Because the less I need to do with... A custom crane for this job the easier it'll be because I can design it just for a couple of things so it doesn't have to be quite as uh, useful as my current crane oh no I've done something silly something I always seem to do uh, let's just think about how I wanted to use this thruster I probably want to use it in its in the horizontal plane, so I have actually attached in a good spot, because then as the rotors will struggle to hold the weight of the thruster, they'll swing it down and it'll get to horizontal, but trouble is horizontal isn't exactly going to line up with this. So I should still be able to make it work. I can't think of a better way to attach other than if I stuck a 45 degree slope on there somewhere. So one of the things I really like about having no jetpack that's useful on the planet is that stuff like scrapping even that requires some careful planning and forethought like if I don't grind the correct bits first I won't be able to reach some other bits and stuff like that will happen uh, but I can easily injure myself there's actually some real fear and concerns that goes along with grinding this down which obviously when you've got jetpack there really isn't any 
We're not getting much nickel, but it's got quite a bit of iron. I wish I could have taken this more intact. It's going to take quite a bit of work to get this thing flight worthy. Okay, that should snap loose after this. Yep. There we go. Still need to grind this further back. I want to take out that oxygen tank. I may need to lock down that other half in some other way. Like I've done with like building some scaffolding to lock it to this grid so that when I grind off bits, I don't accidentally free it and have it crash down the mountain. I'll do that now. <gasps> no! Oh, that was the only thing holding on the tank that I was using. Ah, uh, That's not good. Right, I think the simplest, well, I think the most effective way to do this is going to be stick a rotor on the side there. Grind off the rotor part. Add a small head. Then I'm going to build a baby battery. Hopefully a baby battery will last long enough since all it's really doing... Oops. Ah, oh, I welded the wrong thing. Since all it's really doing is providing power to this. How long is that battery going to last? 33 days! Perfect. Oh, that's actually kind of convenient because that tank was in a really annoying spot. <laughs> so if I need to, I can reattach this tank, but I may well scrap it once I'm done here. Oxygen supply re-established. Ah! Oops. <laughs> Did not realise I detached my own floor. There's something fun about building from the wreck of something you shot down. Because arguably I have enough resources to build something like this myself from scratch. But it's just never quite the same. There's a different feeling to it. And while sometimes I do very much prefer building stuff from scratch, I think it's I think it's nice to do a bit of both. How short do I want to make this? I'm keeping this as my cockpit. And I'm going to leave the glass intact, but I may end up changing the roofing a bit. If this is going to take me as a refuel kind of ship up to space, I might end up having like on each side the hydrogen tanks and put some hydrogen thrusters on those and hopefully this center module will be the atmospheric part. Just trying to think about how that's going to work. But I want to have enough like living quarters for me on board. So I don't want to lose too much of this link. Energy low. Might cut it I might actually end it here and leave this much intact. Even though it's a bit bigger than I need, I could put daily needs blocks and stuff like that in there. Just saw something. This battery, I don't think it's attached in any way if I remove this cargo container. I think these yellow blocks here are actually what's holding that battery in place. So to ensure that doesn't detach, I'm going to full block, full block, and Upside there. And if I'm attaching this module, that means I need to have. I'm just trying to think about. Oh, that's what I could do. If I get rid of these two grey bits here, I could attach this thruster pointing forward. Then figure out how I'm going to attach these two backwards, and then move this whole piece as a chunk. That way I'll have lifting thrust, forward thrust, reverse thrust. I think. Even with Omicron's high gravity, I should be able to fly something with thrust in three directions. If I've brought enough parts, I'll try and get one of the sideways thrust directions as well, so that I've got an even better chance of flying it. But I think I should be able to manage that. If I can kind of put the whole thruster module together over there and then move it over in one piece, that might make it a bit easier too. Alright, let's, let's get rid of those grey bits so I can move this thruster into position. And then use the weld pads. The reason I didn't use the weld pads down there and I used the merge blocks is that I couldn't have placed them the way I did the merge blocks. So I had to do it with them. It's kind of nice to have the two different options. In order to make it so that I can rearrange this module later, what I'm going to do is pop a light armor block there and then I'll weld pad onto that with the thruster facing downhill. As I think, then if I need to when I get back to base, I can still rearrange this by just cutting out that one block. One weld pad done, and other weld pad done. 
Let's get rid of that slope because it's going to make things tricky. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to reach from where I am. I think, I think there is a chance that this could reach. Oh, I hate how much that bounces around when it's like this. Oh no, I don't think this is going to reach. That's kind of maximum reach. Yeah, I'm going to have to move down the hill with this on loaded up on the truck. Dang it. Alright, it's locked to the tray. That is an unusual angle to manage to lock this at. <laughs> but whatever works. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. I'm really worried this is going to roll down the hill if I do this. I need to just bring myself a little bit further down the hill. I think that tree's going to have to go. I don't think I'll be able to do this with it there. Sorry, tree. You're going to have to accept. Oh, great. I can't even get enough speed up to knock it down. <gasps> oh, boy. How did that not go horribly wrong? Well, worse. <laughs> That could not go worse than that. No! The controls are... twitchy. <laughs> it is very, very easy to go very, very fast when I really, really don't want to. I kind of want the crane roughly in line with where I'm going to need to weld pad on. That'll do. That should have brought me close enough. Yeah! It's on. Nice. Oh yeah, kept most of it intact. I don't think I did any additional damage, actually. Sweet. Now the next bit to reorient is going to be these two grey thrusters on the side here. What? <gasps> oh no, I don't have any guns. I don't have any guns at all. Mosquito, try and take me in these little things. Don't like your chances. Please don't shoot me up. No! Ooh. Oh, that was close! Oh, that was close! <laughs> Ow. That was a lot of gunfire. Okay, that tactic worked. Whew. Oh man, that was scary. I thought that was going to go so badly wrong. I need to build a few lights around here. The sun is about to go behind that mountain. <sighs> I think that drone was spawned by Steve. Something that's making this much more difficult than it would normally be to reverse and get this truck in position is that it keeps sliding down the hill a bit, especially the trailer. So even as I slightly shift it up the hill, I then end up with the trailer sliding back down, counteracting everything I just tried to do, which is thoroughly unhelpful. And of course, my abominable hitch design is part of the issue too, of course. Just realized a problem with my plans. I need to get further back here, so I'm gonna have to cover over this hole. That should work. Yeah, I needed to cover over this hole because I want to get the landing gear probably locked on the outside of these thrusters. Uh, the landing gear on the crane. Because if I lock it on anywhere else, I'm going to have great difficulty moving those thrusters into position. And there we go, sliding down the hill. So if I bring those two thrusters around, I probably am going to have to stick them up higher than... Yeah, if I just attach it onto that block there. Grab myself the stuff for a weld pad, I'll weld on, stick it on there, I'll stick one on one of those thrusters, flick it up on top, make them point forward, and then this thruster module has forward, reverse, and lift. Yep. Alright, let's see if the crane can do this bit. I am confident this small grid crane will not be able to lift that whole module, so I'll have to move the module with a bigger crane, but I am seriously happy with how much I've managed to do with this so far. I love doing stuff with this crane. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I think I need to move that way. I mean, it's time consuming, but it's fun. Yeah! It's done! Awesome! I have three functional thrust directions on a separate module, which I now just have to figure out how I'm going to get that module onto my 
cockpit module. That's actually not hard at all, because that's basically... And we can kind of see from this angle. All I need to do is move it upwards according to the camera's current orientation, and then leftwards. So it'll be leftwards five blocks, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, leftwards five blocks, and upwards one block. So that's three pistons. That's all I need, because it... I think it's even at the right height. Yeah, it is. This is coming together quite well. I'm going to need a lot more power, because... How much battery power do I have? Alright, oh, I can't read it from there. Uh, drop on battery. Battery 1 has 25 kilowatt hours. Yeah, 26 kilowatt hours is not going to fly me home. Or drive me home with these things. Like, that'll get me probably a moment of flight. I mean, a moment of driving. But I think the smarter thing for me to do is get this all into one combined unit, then start adding some power generation stuff on here. Because once I can get the power, once I've got it organized, then it's a lot easier for me to expand out and just build some quick power generation. And then get home. Uh, what am I going to weld? That battery. The battery will weld onto this middle piece here. So it'll be weld pad there. And one over here. Let's get rid of this. But what I pr probably should do now is I've got a bad grinder somewhere. I'm going to try and take over all of these blocks that aren't mine. I'm going to have to do that for... How many blocks? I don't think there are that many. It's the three batteries, the gyroscope. What do we got? Gyroscope, uh, two batteries. These are incomplete and uh, not in a, not accessed tonight. So yeah, it's just gyro, two, more, two more batteries. Oh, the O2H2 gen. Can't forget it. If I forget it, I'm going to get shot in a lot. Well, in probably a very bad spot because it's right in the middle of all the thrusters. Let's do that before I forget it. Yay, all the batteries are mine. I think that means everything on here is mine. Battery, battery, battery has very little power in them. I'm going to need so many turbines to get enough power in these quickly enough. Uh, I'll probably have time to manufacture enough. Oh, the manufacturing costs so, many, so much power as well. But I may end up adding the sideways thrusters. Now, you're... Oh, yeah, you're mostly intact. I can use you once I get the other module onto the back of here. I can readjust this one so that it's pointing sideways and then I'm only missing one direction of thrust. So I'd only have to manufacture one thruster and then this thing would be fully controllable. Assuming the four thrusters is enough to lift this compacted thing, which I'm predicting it will be. Oh, yeah, you're somewhat intact, I guess. Could try and use that thruster for it. Alright, time for a whole bunch of scaffolding while I build a whole bunch of pistons. Ooh, hold up. I've done something a little bit wrong here. I need to be able to... I need the pistons to start out further across. I've started too close to the ship. I instead do this. And we can place one there. And then I can put my next... Put my two pistons on here. Because I have the five blocks to reach. And I can place a piston out that way. Another piston on here, another piston on that. So that gives me lift, forward, back, enough, and should give me enough sideways. And then I'm going to merge block or weld pad this to that block over there, so that I don't have to have the full expense of building one of the um, landing gear, because landing gear are actually crazy expensive on large grid. Let's get these built. I know I didn't need this lift one, or I shouldn't have needed this lift one. It's just there in case I can't get the welding or the joining uh, of the two pieces together. Because I'm going to need that so that I can kind of lift up and then push back down. And lock stuff into lock stuff onto this crane rig. Just quickly set up some easy controls. And now, once I've stopped this from going too far back like it is... Should be able to get that to line up with the weld pad, and then it'll be 
extending that one. Should be about right now. Just need to come across. Come on. Almost there. Yep. Done. Locked on. Alright. Uh, is there much stretch on these pistons? There's a bit. Let's try and reduce that. Now I can free that part up. Okay. This terrifies me. I'm really worried that it's going to fling a bit because of the weld pad kind of grabbing before it had fully extended those pistons. But they look okay. So I should be able to free this from the ground and from the rest of the build. I think it's free now. It may still be considered a static grid though. Uh, I might leave this bit here because I could put another turbine on the end there. In fact, I might do that now. I know in a lot of ways it would have made more sense to put the to get the turbines up and running first. I just had no idea where I could put them. So I didn't want to build one and then have to move it because I'd put it in the wrong spot or in a spot that just got in the way. Where to ship not possible. Great. That's not good. <gasps> no! Oh, Splitsy, why? I knew that battery was detached, and I forgot. Uh, dang it. Uh, that's so annoying. Right, well... Hmm. That means we can get rid of this. And I should be able to get rid of this one as well. How bad's the battery? The battery's still fully intact. Uh, if I decide that I want to try and add that one, I can. It shouldn't be too hard to do with the small grid crane. Especially if I'm going to get around and mess with these two afterwards, which I probably will. So I'm going to weld up these links between the thrusters because it scares me having just a single <laughs> stick or piece of uh, steel plate being the only thing that's holding it all together. Especially given that drone came by before. Alright, uh, is the crane going to be in the way? I don't think so. It should be okay. Maybe. Just. Push this up. Which I think the crane might be in the way. <laughs> uh, let's track that one. Yes! Oh yeah! It is combined into a much smaller ship. And we've got batteries getting the tiniest little bit of charge. Just a bit under 200 kilowatts an hour. Kilo just under 200 kilowatt hours an hour into those batteries. So I, at the current rate, would probably have to wait about... I don't know, 10 hours to try and get this thing done. So I'm going to need to build a lot more turbines, a lot more wind turbines on here. I think there's a reasonable chance with the stuff that I've brought here and the stuff that I've kind of refined that I'll be able to get thrust in at least one more direction, but probably both left and right as well. So I'll have full thrust in five directions with gravity providing the other one. I've got a gyro, I've got batteries. So yeah, we've we've got a large grid ship coming along quite nicely. Next time I am going to make every effort to get the thrust in the two left right directions and build a whole lot of wind turbines. Probably some solar panels too because they actually are pretty good. In fact it might, oh, do I have much silicon? Let's just quickly check that. I've got my, a decent amount of silicon. A tracking solar tower might actually get me more power than wind turbines each day. Oh, I don't know very much. No. I've got plenty of iron, which is predominantly what's required for making the wind turbines. So it's going to be the turbines. Hopefully if I can get 10, 15 of them down, I'll get enough power in a shortish enough time frame to fly this thing back next time. And then... It'll be designing it and trying to make it work as a fuel hauler to get back up to the launch airbase. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. <laughs>